Hey everybody, welcome back. This month, February, is George Harrison's birthday month. So we're going to start honoring George with a number of tunes over the next couple weeks to, uh, to honor his birthday. This one that we're going to do today, Old Brown Shoe, such a great song and very interesting and um, really is an example where George is starting to come out into his own sort of style as, you know, for me anyway, as a guitar soloist. Now, of course, he was the solo lead guitar for the Beatles, like, obviously, all the years up to this. But, um, you know, when you listen to a lot of a lot of the sort of solo sections um, of the earlier work in the Beatles, they are very cool, and the parts that he plays are right for the song. Um, but I really feel like he's really started to bloom starting in 1968 and 69, in 70, the later years um, of the band. And this is a great example of um, where I think he really, really shines, especially with his guitar solo and lots of creativity with the rest of the song that's going on too. Um, so we're gonna cover um, sort of the main parts of the rhythms that are going on there, but I really wanted to focus on that fantastic guitar solo that, um, that, he, uh, that he unleashes in this song, okay? So hey, if you haven't already, um, love if you can click subscribe and ring the bell. It'll let you know every time I'm dropping new content on lessons similar to this. And leave a comment, let me know what you think. Um, I do lessons like this every single week and um, love to hear your feedback and love to hear your ideas on um, what might be my next one. So give me some ideas. Okay, so Old Brown Shoe. So this song came out in 1969. It ended up being on the B side of the single uh, Ballad of John and Yoko. And, um, you know, you can hear early versions of them working through this song, you know, earlier in the sort of Let It Be sessions, late, late 68, early 69. Um, and on the final recording, George does all of the guitars. He actually does all of the guitars and he does even the bass. McCartney plays um, piano. Um, of course, Ringo's on drums. Um, the only part I think that John is on there is on some backup vocals. So um, he didn't play guitar on this tune. And when you read about it, it's sort of like, you know, Lennon didn't have a lot of interest in it or just didn't really have a part to figure out that seemed to work. But for whatever reason, the final recording was all guitars were George. Okay, so getting your tone. So um, on the solo, George played, I think his Rosewood Telly, um, and he played it through a Leslie. Um, the other sort of guitars that are going on throughout there could both still be his telly. Um, it's hard to say. Um, the, the one part that, you know, sort of goes on throughout there could be his casino because to my ear, it sort of sounds like a John part. It sounds like if, like George is writing a part or playing a part that I think he think that, thinks that that's the kind of thing that John would play. And it's, it's this thing. that part there. Now, if that's on a Telecaster, he's, I think he's on his uh, neck pickup for that. But it very easily could have been a casino um, to get that tone. But either way, um, go with sort of a fuller sound um, on that. Um, and um, the other part of the rhythm guitar that's going on really is, is really interesting. I, I think that's his Tele. And um, he's playing sort of underneath the bass and he's sort of matching the bass and of course George ends up playing the bass um, too so he's sort of matching to some extent what's going on with the bass guitar and it's usually just root fifth sort of power chords um, so <laughs> So it's sort of that going on throughout the whole thing. It's a little bit cleaner than the setting that I've got on here. Right now I've got this set up for the, the lead tone. But really all that's, that, that's really all that's happening. So um, in terms of rhythm guitar, they're important parts and they need to fit in there. Um, but um, in terms of ease of play, it's pretty easy. 
By the way, I'll link um, in the description here some chord charts for this song for the rhythm part. So if, so if you have any uh, need to look at those, those are in there right now. Okay, real quick, I want to talk about the bridge section. The bridge section is um, very interesting too. Um, this is one where he is playing his tally, um, mimicking the bass, right? So he's, you know, the bass and the, and the guitar are sort of doing the same um, sort of run during that. So, so the chords, he's not playing it like this, but the chords are... Back to your C part, right? So the little line that he's doing there on the bass and the guitar is just a major scale climb and descend. You're sliding it. It's all over Beatles songs, all over the place. McCartney does that bass line in the parts in from the earliest stuff in the Beatles. It's all over the place. Um, so this is in their DNA, but this is the part that George came up with. F, G, and on, when you're on that D sharp, you still finish the rest of that as if you were doing that F, right? So the F is F sharp. And that's the bridge part. But let's spend our time on the guitar solo. So, um, so this solo is fantastic. And um, like I said, I think it's really a part where George starts to shine and show off sort of what he can do. He was a great guitar player, you know, and and he really sort of unleashed it in the later Beatle years and especially in his solo years. His slide playing is phenomenal um, later on. But um, so let's talk about this solo. So so the the chords that are happening underneath the solo um, I'll go over those first. So first of all, primarily the song is in C. Sort of a C7 vibe. You don't play that that way, but it's sort of a C. All right, so then on the solo, um, you go down to the four, um, which is the F. This is the, this is the chords that are happening under the solo. So the solo begins when you're going on F. And then you're going to climb up to a G sharp or A flat. I don't know what you call it. It's one of those. It's the same thing, right? Maybe. Back to F, E. And really, if you want to play a full chord, it's really a, it's an E7. Because then you're going to lead back to an A minor. And then to the bridge section, which is in G. Right? So again, those rhythm chords are... And then it goes into that great... Alright, the bridge section. Okay, so the solo starts on F. Um, so he's playing sort of a C uh, pentatonic thing over that F. So it's up here. You'll see over my shoulder sort of what the positions are. I'm just going to go through it really slow and then we'll talk about sort of the nuance of what he's doing. Okay, so here it is slowed down. Great little ending there. 
Um, okay, so what's happening on that? So, um, sort of C minor pentatonic to open it up. Right? So the next chord is your G sharp, A flat, whatever you want to call it. So he just goes right to that triad here. Right? So you're, you're right here in this position and you're switching over to... Okay? <clears throat> the chords then go down to F and E and A. So over that F, E, and A is going to be this great run <laughs> um, uh, that he does on there. So he's coming off of that um, A flat. And those notes are... Okay. So I sort of do that. Um, you'll notice there's sort of a slide. He's not picking all of them. It's not it's not, uh, it's not that. Um, so you'll notice he'll sort of slide into it. There's a pull off there. And then he slides in and does the same sort of thing again. And ends on that F, because now we're switching to the F chord, and then we're gonna go to the E. Right, so when he ends on that F, then you're gonna go down to the E and then follow it with that same little riff. Right, F, E, and then you end on that A minor. All right, so this climb to get out of the solo is so cool. Um, it's it's based just on an A minor pentatonic, but the little things that he does on it um, are, I don't know, send shivers for me, right? Um, sort of like that chromatic run that he was doing in the beginning to get down to the F. There's a little part here climbing out, which is just as cool. Um, and it's the part where you're starting to run some notes together. So that climb starts here on... 7th fret, 5th string. But it's when those notes are all sort of rubbing up against each other. Right? So, full context, it's... Just so cool. So I'll just run through it slowly again. To my ear, the important part of that is to hold these two notes down together. I think you need to have, and the, and the high a, uh, a. So when you get there, it's. Just so cool, right? All right, so the whole thing together, let's see if we can do that. Such a cool vibe. All right, well, that's Old Brown Shoe. Um, hope you learned something new. Um, that is such a fantastic tune. Um, and uh, really showcases where George was going with his guitar, lead guitar abilities. Fantastic. Okay, hey, if you like what you saw, would love to have you click subscribe and ring the bell. It lets you know every single time I'm dropping new content, which I do every week. Let me know what you thought about this lesson. Um, and let me know if there's another song you'd like me to take on to do something like this. Um, I would love to be able to do um, songs that you would like to hear. So with that, until next week, take care, everybody. <laughs>